Hey guys, this is Faps. Hope everyone's doing okay. Today I'm going to show you an update to the Hota Bar build that was on last week's video on how to kill Butcher. Since then, I've been able to farm up a few more upgrades during the open beta. I was already surprised with how much damage the bar was able to pull out before, but it has only gotten better. Like most builds, this is all about creating synergies with your aspects, but what I really like about this build is that it is both high damage and tanky. So let me clear this area a bit and I can show you the details. So to start we have Crowded Sage. This is pretty much just a heal while fighting. Steadfast Berserker allows us to gain 45 whenever dealing direct damage while berserking. This combos well with the Wrath of the Berserker. So whenever this buff is up, not only are we dealing an in increased damage, we're also tankier thanks to Fortify. On Gloves, Inner Calm, this isn't the best offensive aspect in my opinion, but it's good on fights where you can stand still for a few seconds. On Pants, Iron Warrior, this combos with Iron Skin, giving it damage reduction, but more importantly, gives it Unstoppable, which makes Iron Skin a CC break. On Boots, Relentless Berserker allows us to extend the duration of Berserking, so this combos again with Wrath. On Neck, Numbing Wrath, each point of fury generated while at maximum fury grants fortify. While the value seems small, we actually generate a lot of fury during Rallying Cry, so this is a good defensive option. On Ring, we have Conceited Aspect. So dealing increased damage whenever we have barrier. So this turns iron skin into a both offensive and defensive ability. Uh, Ring of the Expectant. Al attacking with enemies with basic skills increases the damage of your core skill. So this is the reason why we have Frenzy. It's the fastest attacking basic attack allowing us to stack the damage bonus quicker. On weapon, Ancestral Force, so pretty self-explanatory here. This is this increases uh, Hammer of the Ancients damage, but it also vastly increases the AoE of Hota. Uh, smiting Aspect, we only really care about the increased critical strike chance on this aspect. Uh, skull and Steel aspect allows us to deal higher damage when we have higher fury. And lastly, Limitless Rage. So this is our largest modifier, increasing core skill damage up to 240%. Next up is the skill tree. I won't go into the details here too much, so feel free to pause when you need to. Obviously, if you want all the points in Hammer of the Ancients. For passives, I like having Booming Voice for the extended shout duration and Raid Leader, which gives me extra sustain. For damage, there's Pit Fighter, giving me increased damage to enemies that are close, which should be anyone within Hota range. For basic skills, there's Frenzy. But there's actually an alternate option here which is Bash. So as you can see with Combat Bash, you are able to get guaranteed overpowers provided you're able to get uh, 4 crits on Bash first. Problem is, I'm not able to maximize that uh, ability since my crit chance is just below 10. If yours is higher, go for Combat Bash for sure. So now that you've seen the spec, uh, let's see it in action. <laughs> 